What's going on guys? I'm gonna show you my favorite way on how you can attack cover three Mabel, the meta, out of the uh, Trey Open Offensive Mini Guide. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to subscribe. We upload videos every day that can help you become a better Madden player. Now in this video, we are talking about our gun, Trey Open scheme. Um, I am using the Vikings playbook. If you want to get access to the full scheme, then make sure to join the True Fan membership. It's completely, or it's not free. It's five bucks a month, uh, but it might as well be free because you get a ton of content for that. It's a great resource, and we're going to be adding content to that all throughout the Madden 22 uh, season. If you've not joined that, um, if you've not joined that yet. It's five bucks a month. You get an offense, a defense every single week. No questions asked. Offense, defense every single week. And then the other thing that you get with it is you also get the opportunity um, to be able to get pro player analysis every single week as well. So we break down exactly what the pros are doing and why they are doing it. Okay, so guys, the best way to attack cover three Mabel, in my opinion, is to use the four verticals concept. The reason why I like this concept so much is because the specific types of routes that you're gonna get on this is going to force their user to have to defend certain things on the field. So we're just gonna snap the ball and we're just gonna watch this play develop. And I just wanna show you um, this real quick. You're gonna see here that the X is going to get open on the sideline. Now, the cool part about this formation in my opinion, is that it's not a tight end over there. It is a slot receiver. So if I ever wanted to, I could always do something as simple as this. I could put um, I could put X on a hitch, R1 on a crosser, and just motion him to this direction, and then just snap the ball while he's in motion. And now that X receiver you're gonna see is gonna hold that cloud, and then that motion crosser is gonna get over the top, okay? That's always a concept that you can go to. So I don't, I'm not gonna cover that a ton uh at least in these initial videos i might cover it a little bit later but that's a that's a hot route master concept that you have to feel free to be able to leverage okay but the reason why i like four verticals so much is because of the route to the running back and the route to the r1 receiver so if they're if, if they're in cover three you're going to see here this running back route is going to get over underneath every single mabel coverage it's also going to beat man really really well so let's say you get a man read um let me see let me do just like basic man coverage if you get a man coverage look at this that little in route right there is so money against this zone or against this uh against this coverage so you've got that going for you the next thing that you have going for you on this concept is this x route and i'm going to talk about it you're going to have to get a little bit of time in the pocket but what we want to do is we want to force their user to have to go user the x route their user is going to want to user the running back Okay, the, that's what they're going to want to do. Because the running back, they're going to think that their uh, Mabel coverage is going to take this away. But it's not. What you're going to see right here is this X is going to get over the top of that cloud. And as you can see, we're able to get over the top of that on a four vertical shell. Now, the, little, the real science, in my opinion, to this, one little trick that you can do uh, from this formation. This is a little bit of a tell, but it is a good one, I think is to take this square receiver and to just simply motion him in and put him on a streak. The reason why I like to do this is because it's going to give me more space on the sideline. Look at how that cloud sits in the middle of the field, and now I've got all this room on the sideline that I can hit this crosser over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat, period, over the, thought, over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat. So you get time in the pocket, you should be able to hit this route. Now, real quick, another thing that you can do with this um that i would not necessarily it's kind of a situational thing but if they're running a lot of mabel um put the r1 on a curl and the reason why i like to put this r1 on a curl is watch what he does to that purple zone you see how he holds that purple zone now the running back we're talking 15 yards we went from talking about six to seven to 15. let me show it to you again look at the coverage that i'm putting on the field to that trip side i'm putting the best way this is the best way to play coverage on trips period amen this is the best way to cover out of trips okay so you got this look right here i'm putting r1 on a curl that's all i'm doing and what you're going to see here is that curl is going to hold that purple zone and now i can throw this ball to the fournette and easily be able to beat mabel coverage now you might be asking well cody how do they stop that 
the best way for their opponent to stop that is to put a zone on the field that they don't want to have to put on the field. They're going to have to put this curl flat zone on the field. The problem with the curl flat zone is I should be able to hit this curl route right on the cut right there, just like that. You see how the zones kind of peel away and I can low ball that right to the curl. So you're going to have one of those two receivers open. The other reason why we like four verticals is because if you get a look like this right here, where we're talking like some maybe some potential cover two, Tampa two style of defense, four verticals will absolutely torch it. Why? Because Brown to the outside, outside pass lead that, absolute laser against this coverage. Absolute laser against this coverage. Now, um, the other thing that I was going to hit on is what about like cover zero man? So something like this, shaded up cover zero man with flats. This X receiver is in a really good position to take advantage of this from a man-to-man -man perspective. Look at where he gets on the field, and you see how you can get this over-the-shoulder catch animation, even though I've got 30-yard cloud flats on the field and I'm dropping them back at a high level. So what this does is this very simple concept. It really and truly is a very simple concept. But what this does is it forces your opponent to have to choose. Am I going to guard the running back or am I going to guard the crossing route? If they guard the running back, the crossing route should be wide open in, in man coverage if they don't guard. And the other reason why I like this play, the other reason why I really like this play, the only other adjustment I might do is put square on a, a, a direct streak. The reason why I like the direct streak is the fade takes a little bit longer uh, to develop, in my opinion. So when you're trying to get him, because the reason I like that streak so much is he's a clear out route. That's all he really is. But that is going to be a very nice way to clear the zones out. Look at how that does. See how much more room now I have on the sideline to be able to hit that route. Okay. Um, another thing that you can do with this, if we're talking about, um, I'm just going to create a cover four real quick. So if we get a cover four look, let me just show you what that might look like. And then I'll do like a, we'll do a Mabel out of that. So you get something like this basically, okay? So let's say you get a cover four look. Watch this R1, uh, watch this R1 route. So this R1 route is gonna run, 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 right there, and he kind of stopped moving unfortunately, but I could, I could inside pass lead that R1 route against cover four sometimes. It just depends on the type of drop that they get honestly. Um, it's not something necessarily, but really against uh, against cover three and against cover four, that R1 is gonna run that vertical seam. He's not gonna cut inside. So because he's not gonna cut inside, now you've got another position or an, another route that you can really work a little bit. So you'll see how he's just kind of drifting to the inside, drifting inside. Now look at this right here, and you can't do this you can't do this out of um, this formation as well, but you will see that that middle safety has to decide what he's going to do. And because of that route that he's on, that crossing route should get underneath this deep blue. So if your opponent is sitting down in, this, in that little gap right there taking the running back, if he goes down to the running back, then watch this route to X. I can throw that right there in that little seam. I can throw that right there in that little seam as well, just as much as I can throw it in the other one. So that's another thing that I like to do out of this concept. Again, I will not, I will not, um, I don't want to, I don't want to confuse you necessarily on the setup side, but there's some things you can do from this to continue this concept. So for example, the reason I like to motion this guy into the numbers, um, and you could even put him on a hitch. I'm going to motion him in, put him on a hitch. Watch what happens to these zones. Every zone will sit down here. And this crosser is going to be wide open on the side. I threw it a little bit late, but he's going to get wide open on the side. Gunslinger is like a nice to have out of this if you're going to do this concept because he's going to help a lot. But really, like I said, you're truly just trying to get the user to go to the crosser. And if he goes to the crosser, then you've got a high-low read right here with that curl. And then the other beauty of this is that if they run cover two, your fade's going to get open. Okay, your fade's going to get open. So that's pretty much the concept. The reason I like the curl so much is because it's not necessarily a great read against, um, like the streak's not going to get open against anything. Uh, it's not going to get open to cover three. It's not going to get open against uh, cover four necessarily. But now you've got a route that is soup. Um, it, it basically makes X so much better. Look at where it sits right there. Now he's got a bunch of real estate to work on this sideline. 
and you've got some really good opportunities. You can either hit that crosser or you can go to the other play. Now, if you have a hot route master quarterback, you can put him on a crosser. Look at the difference though. That's the crosser and then that's the hot route one. The, the hot route crosser is a little bit deeper, um, but it's, a, it's also a little bit more angled. So they're gonna get to different depths on the field. The only reason why I share that um, is because you just need to be aware of that. Now there's another concept that we're gonna run out of our four verticals that I wanna share with you real quick. It's go, we're gonna go over to more detail in a later video, but this is where PA counter go. This is a very similar concept to the PA counter go. So this is how I like to do this. So this is more of if you're really wanting to hit on that crossing route. Um, the first one is more, you know, if they're running cover two, I could hit that vertical seam. It's really trying to stretch the defense a little bit more vertically. So if I want to go to Y cross, um, then what I can do is this. I can take R1, I can put him on a flat. I can put circle on a smart route of dig. Then what I can do with my back is I can put him on a uh, an option route or a ghost route, okay? Both will work really well. Um, if you, I would prefer the option route just because it gives me a man in zone read. But what you're gonna see now is now watch this X receiver. Look at, look at this. Now it's a traditional, and I didn't get him deep enough, but now it's traditional Y cross. Now it's traditional Y cross. If you're getting a lot of cover three Mabel, we've talked about this before on the channel. If you're getting a lot of like cover three Mabel, then just put a ghost route to, to, um, to triangle. So you're still running Y cross, right? That's Y cross. That's what we're doing. But now this ghost route, watch that flat. It's going to hold him in the middle of the field. And now there's nobody going to stop that crosser. Nobody will stop that crosser. So that's why I like this. It, com it, it combines concepts from trips tied in as well as spread and puts them into one um, cohesive formation because we know in Madden that most of the time we're going to be on a hash anyway. So now we can combine a lot of the concepts because we know that we've got this and this gives me, in my opinion, the best spacing possible. I can do everything from this formation, uh, which is why I like it so much. Okay. Uh, one last little thing about this concept, if you want to, is you could do this right here. Um, you can run this concept uh, with this running back in route. Okay. So if I wanted to do that right there with a running back under route, I certainly can do this. Um, and look at how much space it opens for that in route. Okay. So that's something that you can do as well. That's more of a shallow cross. Really, really what it does is you're taking the running back and, and, and flexing him into a shallow cross. Other thing you could do when I motion that running back out, look where he sits at. Um, he's at, it's, it's actually a really unique little motion in my opinion because this is empty flex. This is empty trio. This is this is what we've talked about before in previous videos. So now what I could do is now it's again five wide wide cross. So everything's the same. It's just doing this from a five wide set. So you get this look right here. Now you're going to this and and look at that hitch route. Just hold those zones so that we can throw that crossing route. Okay. So this is one little way you can do it. Um, if you wanted to do it another way, if you wanted, you could do this. There's no reason why you can't do this setup right here. This right here is a fun little variation of it, especially if you have Hot Route Master. The reason I like this variation of the four verticals is because now I've got a really, really intentional seam read. Um, I've got a really, really intentional seam read, but the crosser's nowhere near as good in my opinion. So anyways, but that's four verticals. Four verticals primarily use when you're getting a lot of cover, uh, a lot of cover two, in my opinion, uh, cover three again. You're not going to be able to, at least the way they made the game this year. You're just not going to be able to fit it in this window like you should. I personally think that you know, I mean, you can you you can fit it in, but I personally think that if if you throw a comeback out here, that should basically hold that cloud, and then I should be able to take R1 right up the vertical seam but I just can't. You see how that safety kind of recovers on him? I mean, it's I got it over the top of him, but it's bang, bang throw. And, and I, if you're gonna do this in game, you really need to lab it. Um, I've done this in, in regs. I've yet to be able to get this to work in mud. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, but what this is, is basically I'm just putting a comeback route out there to circle. And it, it works very naturally with the play. And what you'll see is this R1, because it's cover three, he's running up the seam. I get that animation right there, and then I'm just throwing this back across my body to the right, and I do a little swerve catch. Try this out. I would tell you, just based off of, of playing this game this year, you're gonna it's going to work better in, mutt than, or in regs than in mutt. If that's Rodgers, 
you're going to have a pretty decent opportunity. Um, again, all we're doing, just circle on a comeback route. As soon as we see that safety kind of bite, I'm throwing to the right side over the top and lobbing it up and, and trying to get trying to get sticky with the swerve catch. Try this out. This is a concept. Um, it's, you know, I, I wouldn't say that this is like foolproof. I'm just saying try it out. Let me know what you think, if it works or doesn't work. Get some more hands on that. But that's something I've been working on from trips that I think will carry over into Madden 22. Um, it's, a, it's a decent way to attack the trips or, or from trips out of a deep zone. So anyways, test it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get the full trade open uh, guide, you can get that in our true fan membership down below. It's just five bucks a month. And for five bucks a month, you're going to get a new offense every single week. You're going to get a new defense every single week. And you're also going to get a pro player breakdown every single week. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to become a true fan, click that link down below and join the true fan membership.